you know, many of the issues on which you disagree with President Biden have a lot of crossover with, with President Trump, who obviously is running on the other side of the aisle. So, you know, it, you're in a strange position where Democrats are suggesting that you're a President Trump plant in order to take votes away from Biden. Some members of the Trump camp are, are claiming that you're a Biden plant in order to take away votes from, from President Trump. Why not support President Trump as an alternative to, to President Biden? Yeah, I, I, um, see, I don't see it that way. I think that President Biden and President Trump are much more like each other than most people. Um, and Democrats and Republicans like to acknowledge it. And, and, and let me say this, because that's going to be a controversial statement. I want to qualify it. I think um, President Trump and President Biden are very different in their temperaments and extremely different. They're different in their professed ideologies. They're different in, the, um, in their personalities and their, and their rhetoric. Um, but the issues that they differ on are in a very, very narrow band. They're mainly culture war issues. They're abortion, it's guns, the border, um, you know, woke ideology, those kind of transgender stuff. Some of them very, very important issues. You know, the border is the only one that I would say is even vaguely existential. Um, but uh, the the big issues at America that are existential to our country that really threaten all of us, that are most concerned to all of us, um, neither of them has even taken positions on the debt, for example. They're both equally bad on the debt. The debt is the, the most important issue. It's $34 trillion. Our, the, the service on that debt is now larger than our defense budget, and our defense budget is larger than the next 10 defense budgets for the next 10 countries in the world all put together. So uh, that is, and, and you know, President Trump and President Biden are largely responsible individually for the, that debt. President Trump ran up the biggest debt in history. He, he ran up, he ran, he put $8 trillion on that number. And that is more than uh, all the presidents in 283 years of history before him. And President Biden put almost that much on it. So um, within five years, 50 cents out of every dollar that is collected in taxes is going to go to servicing the debt. Within 10 years, and, and particularly if interest rates rise, within 10 years, uh, 100% of every dollar collected in taxes will go to servicing the debt. So this is a this is really an existential crisis for our country, and you don't hear President Biden or President Trump ever talk about it, 